Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to 10 Bagger Stocks, the YouTube channel that's dedicated to finding stocks that can help you 10x your money. Today we're going to be talking about something that most of you guys probably enjoy on a Friday or Saturday, or more than that, I'm not judging. No, not the product of Canopy Growth Corporation, I'm talking about kicking a cold one back with the boys. Yup, that's right, we're going to be talking about beer stocks today. And why not? I mean, Peter Lynch said it best when he said, if you love the store, chances are you'll love the stock. Well, we're replacing stores with beer today and looking at three beer companies that currently present enticing opportunities both as growth stocks at a current discount and as dividend producers as of April 2020. Before we pour into the content, I would just like to take a second to ask you guys to help me out with the YouTube algorithm by smashing the like button and commenting down below one stock you're currently investing in or researching as a future investment. Okay, like I said, today we're going to be talking about three beer companies that present a decent investing opportunity as of April 2020. Beer stocks have taken a massive hit in 2020 as restaurants and bars around the world are closed due to the Rona outbreak and investors are assuming that sales will be greatly affected by this. However, I believe that consumers are unwilling to give up on alcohol during these tough times, and as such, I don't think alcohol businesses will be hurt much, if at all, from this outbreak. Which, as much as it seems like the end of the world right now, will end at some point. This is just a reminder that at the end of the video, I will disclose which beer stock I'm scooping up shares of as of today. The first company I will discuss just had a big earnings beat and the CEO went straight to Mad Money to rep his brand and discuss how they're successfully navigating the Rona crisis. This company is Constellation Brands ticker STZ. They own notable alcohol brand Corona Beer and as such they have taken a massive hit due to the similarities in the name of their top performing brand and the name of the disease causing this crisis. Even though this association probably won't have much of an effect on long-term sales of the Mexican beer brand. STZ has an ever-growing portfolio of beers, liquors, and wine. Recent acquisitions include Modelo Beer from Anheuser-Busch in 2017. The company is profitable and pays a decent dividend to investors. And with a market cap of just $25 billion, it currently has room to expand. I don't think investors in STZ will lose money in this stock long term, especially after, after this Rona hit. However, I think that the debt of the company will hinder expansion and thus growth. So as a long term investment, I think there are better opportunities. The only reasons I would see long term growth in Constellation Brands would be a possible national move to legalize weed as they made a big investment in weed company Canopy Growth in 2018 and will look to unveil THC laced beverages in the near future which could prove to be a vehicle of income growth for the company that being said I don't really see weed being a major factor for the company long term and I think they should have spent more of their equity building their portfolio of alcoholic beverages perhaps expanding into more successful domestic beers my take on the weed industry is that it will be dominated by smaller producers, it will kind of have a similar vibe to the microbrewery industry in America. The second company that I want to talk about today is Anheuser-Busch, ticker BUD, most notably the brewer of Bud Light and Budweiser. However, this company does much more than that, being the largest brewer in the world by volume. The company is currently three times the size of Constellation Brands at a market cap of $75 billion. And the company definitely earns this number by bringing in a fantastic income of $8.75 billion. Another interesting note is that the stock price is down to $43 a share compared to the highs in 2018 which were $125. This means that there is around a 200% upside to the stock at current valuations if it were to return to all time highs in the future, which I think is highly likely for an American brand with such a strong moat. Bud also pays a hefty dividend if that's something you're interested in, currently yielding about 4% annually. The company does have some debt, but nothing extravagant compared to the rest of the industry and really generates enough income to justify the leverage. I'm not currently investing in Bud, although it does appear to be a healthy investment for the future at these levels. 
I will possibly be starting a position in Bud in the near future, so be sure to follow me on Twitter at 10xbaggers and subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay on top of my investments in 2020. The final company I want to discuss is my favorite beer to drink. It's an international company which I'm usually wary of investing in, but this company has an immense moat in both America and the international markets, owning both the most purchased international beer and light international beer in America. I've been to their brewery in Amsterdam and I have to say it was quite an amazing experience. The company is of course Heineken and the ticker is H-E-I-N-Y. I love to drink Heineken beer so I thought I'd dive into the business. This company is valued at a market cap of $22 billion, so it's one third the size of Anheuser currently and about the same valuation of Constellation Brands. The company is extremely diversified in the beer world and has over 170 beer brands worldwide. Heineken is the second largest brewer of beer in the world behind Anheuser-Busch. The company has an impressive balance sheet with $41 billion in current assets compared to $26 billion in liabilities. The company generates free cash flow of $2 billion from gross profits of $8.8 billion every year and is constantly looking to expand its operations. The efficiency and growth mindset of Heineken make it a much more attractive investment for me long term. At a market cap of $22 billion with free cash, with free cash flow of $2 billion, Heineken certainly has room to expand into new markets and is most recently doing so by investing in Brazil. Heineken stock is down nearly 40% from all-time highs and I believe this offers an excellent entry point for long-term investors to enter the company. Although all three stocks are heavily oversold and they all offer an excellent entry point as of April 2020, I need to invest for myself with a long-term mindset. And as such, there is no doubt in my mind that Heineken is the stock with the biggest opportunity for long-term growth among the three in discussed in this video. I'm currently investing a small portion of my portfolio into Heineken and will look to average into the position over time. Okay guys, that's my video. I hope you learned a little bit and you liked it. Let me know what you guys think about the beer stocks in 2020. Do you agree with me on Heineken as a long-term investment? If you liked the video and want to join the discussion about stocks for the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Happy bagging, folks!